So you've stocked up on enough TP to build a throne of cleanliness. Or maybe not. No matter the case, you can build this simple robot to ensure that you make the most of your toilet paper supply. The Toilet Paper Ration Robot dispenses a predetermined robot-controlled allocation of toilet paper on demand. Dial in your optimal sheets and let the robot slow your roll. Hi everyone, I'm Stu from Modular Robotics, and today I'm making a toilet paper rationing robot using Cubelet's robot blocks. Build one yourself for a funny weekend project when you're stuck at home. So, the idea for this robot is to use the drive cubelets to spin a roll of toilet paper in a repeatable and controlled manner. This way, we'll always have a generous but not wasteful amount of TP. Since this is a robot that involves bio breaks, my plan is to build a small robot that can sense the swipe of a hand so we don't need to touch our robot. I'm going to craft a simple platform to raise my robot into the proper position. Finally, I'll create the code that we can optimize to roll a precise number of sheets every time the ration robot detects a swipe. I started my process by prototyping the designs with cubelets in my bathroom to see if I could spin the toilet paper roll. I tried placing the robot on top and bottom and found that the bottom would make for an easier mounting situation. When you build yours, think about what makes the most sense for your space. Next, I began to measure my space with my robot in place to find the best height for my robot platform. After a bit of scavenging, I decided to use a lovely Amazon cardboard box as it was nearly the right size. I need a platform that is about 14 to 15 inches tall. After some careful and amateurish crafting with cardboard, a utility blade, and some duct tape, I had a stable platform that would hold my robot in place. The basic layout of my robot looks like this. I chose to use some of the cubelets you'll find in the cubelets curiosity set, but you'll also be able to make a version of this robot using the cubelets discovery set. Be sure to pay attention to which direction your wheels are spinning so they unroll your toilet paper properly. To keep my robot from shifting positions too much or tipping over, I decided to use some Lego and the cubelets brick adapters to build some supports. Before I go any further, I'm going to test my design in the bathroom and make any necessary modification. Now that we know that the physical form of our robot should work, we can plan our code. I can make the code that alters any cubelet in my robot construction. We could alter the way the drive cubelets process information, but since there's only one sense cubelet, I'm going to create a program for the distance cubelet just to keep things simple. I want my code to behave something like this. If the sensor detects a swipe, then spin the wheels for a couple of seconds, then wait for a few seconds more so we don't overuse our supply of TP. Else, do nothing. It's a simple program, so I'll build it in Blockly. First connect the battery, Bluetooth hat, and distance cubelet, then pair with cubeless Blockly. We'll start by building the conditional framework for our if-then-else program. If the sensor detects a value above 50%, written as 127, then set the block value to 200 for two seconds, then wait 3.5 seconds, else set the block value to zero. Select the distance cubelet and program it to try it out. You may need to change some variables to get the optimal amount of TP for your wiping habits, but that's all part of the process. Remember, design, test, and iterate. Here's my final robot in action. Ah, reliable robot rationing. Doing a little math, this robot should dispense three sheets per swipe. Assume a generous average of four rations per visit, which means each roll should cover 23 poos. Multiply that by the number of rolls remaining, and my house can expect about 426 poos before we need to source more TP. Ah, mathematics. Thanks for taking the time to make with me. I hope you and your family try to build a toilet paper rationing robot of your own. Feel free to take our design, improve on it, or invent something completely new. But before you go, please remember to like this video and subscribe. Until next time, happy making.